Hey everyone, welcome back to the Den Fireworks. Today's video, we are doing Neon Skies by Raccoon Fireworks. <laughs> This is a 24-pack kit of canister shells by Raccoon. I've done a ton of their ones with Willows. I've done a lot of kits, honestly, by Raccoon, if you check out the channel. But I haven't done one where they're focused on color and doing the neon ones. So I had to pick these ones up. Haven't seen them yet. And, you know, I kind of want to see them all still. On the back, we have all of the effects numbered down the line. And it looks like they might actually be color-coded like the shells are colored themselves on the side. That's kind of interesting. I haven't seen that before. And we have tons of color on these. Blood red, white glitter with sea blue, white brocade, gold willow, teal and peach, purple dahlias with sea blue. I mean, we got a lot of neat, nice-looking effects, hopefully, in here. So I'm going to get this suitcase pack opened up. Let's check these out, see how the shells look themselves, and then we're going to get them loaded up in a rack and set up in the air. Just from taking these out, there's already a lot of things I like about them. They're four inch cans. Less garbage, less cardboard. Give me a good filled four inch can and I am happy. They don't have the crappy plastic top on them. And they are all labeled, numbered for effect, with a very easy to read label. It's like Raccoon listened to all of my pet peeves on these. We've got the Neon Skies logo and all of that beautiful color on the mortar. And it has a very small base to fit into that suitcase pack, as well as being a 10 inch mortar. So if you're going to use these included mortars, I love the smaller shipping. Just be a little extra careful and make sure you brace this tube a little bit better because we don't have as much surface area to hold it down to the ground. I'm going to be firing them out of HDPE mortars in my rack that I made, so it's not a really a concern for me. But if you don't have that, just be a little careful on these. If we take a shell out, like I said, four inch can, no plastic, and really easy to read label. Sea blue and yellow dahlia with red plum blossom. Perfect, easy to read, it's number 18. And that sounds like a beautiful shell. So I'm gonna get these loaded up and show you how I did them. Be right back. All right, and here we have the neon skies all fused up. I wanted to keep these at a pretty good pace that so we get to see the color, but then the next shell's coming up as the first one fades. So I am giving the imperfect pink Canon Fuse a go that I got from CanonFuse.com. It was supposed to be 10 seconds a foot. It came in slower at 14 to 16. And it's almost the speed of the blue fuse that I love. It's a little bit faster. So I'm going to give it a go on this rack. From when I've tested the fuse, it has all burned between 14 and 16 seconds per foot. And it burns a little weird, but I haven't had any ignition issues with it. So, let's get these neon skies out in the back. See how beautiful they make the night sky, or if the colors aren't really popping the way we want. Thanks, everyone.